Hello, good morning viewers. Welcome back to Santa News for today's info, October 17, 2020. With me, Ali Indira, and we will provide you with incredible news from all around the world. And here is the complete news. The coronavirus crisis caused the global tourism sector four hundred and sixty billion US dollar in lost revenue during the first six months of twenty twenty, as the number of people traveling plunged. Best World Tourism Organization said in a statement, revenue lost between January and June amounted to around five times the lost international tourism received recorded in 2009 amid the global economic and financial crisis. International tourism arrivals fell by 440 million during the period, or 65%, with Asia, the first region to feel the impact of COVID-19, seeing the steepest decline. The tourism organization said this represents an unprecedented decrease as countries around the world closed their borders and introduced travel restrictions in response to the pandemic. While tourism is slowly returning to some destination, the United Nations body worried that reduced travel demand and consumer confidence will continue to hurt the sector for the rest of the year. It predicted international tourist arrivals will plunge by 70% in 2020 owing the coronavirus. International tourist arrivals rose by 4% in 2019 to 1.5 billion with France, the world's most visited country, followed by Spain and the United States. The United Nations body said it expects it will take two until four years for tourist arrivals to return in 2019 levels. Well, viewers, that's all the news for today, but don't switch your channel, because me, Ali Indra, will be back to deliver you the weather forecast report track after this commercial break. So, stay tuned in CNN. Hello, good morning, viewers. You're still with me, Ali Indra, in CNN Weather Forecast. As usual, every morning, we always provide you with let's weather information live from our satellite based on New York City. And the first thing first, congratulations for you who live in Charlotte, Miami, and Houston because today will be beautiful sunny day with the highest temperature is 78 degrees Fahrenheit and the lowest temperature is 58 degrees Fahrenheit. For your information viewers, enjoying the sun in the morning and before sundown helps many positive give back in a self-quarantine as it can increase our blood circulation, give vitamin D, and boost the autoimmune system. As a demand, WHO instructs the sunbat for every 9 until 10 o'clock in the morning to utilize the time of sunbat. You can probably read some novel or do a stretching. And now, for you who live in Chicago, Denver, and around city there, your day will be cloudy in the morning, clouds giving way to some sun in the afternoon with 50% of humidity. Also, the temperature will be predicted at 56 degrees Fahrenheit in the morning and 39 degrees Fahrenheit in the afternoon with the estimation 40% chance to be shower overnight. Viewers, let's moving on to another weather condition. It's not really bad news for you who live in Portland and around city there. It's gonna be raining all day long with the temperature is around 38 degrees Fahrenheit and 48% of humidity. For you who really need to go outside, please be careful and don't forget to wear warm clothes because it's gonna be cold. And avoid yourself for getting flu, cough, or hypothermia. Also, you can make a help to increase your body immune. And last but not least, it's for you who live in Seattle and around city there. It's gonna be thunder with 60% chance of rain and 45% of humidity. Also, the temperature will be predicted at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. To minimize the risk of being struck, just remember when thunder occurs, go indoor and still indoor until at least 50 minutes after the last sound of thunder or crack of lightning. Well, viewers, that's all the weather forecast for today edition. For more information, you can visit us on www.cnnnews.com slash weather. And remember that do not ever get tired for obeying the COVID-19 protocols in purpose to our health. And viewers, remember that there is no such thing as bad weather. It's only different kind of good weather. I'm Elin Thanks for watching. Keep healthy and have a great day.